Well, Michigan State Police are looking for two people who they say broke into a local bowling alley. The owners of Holly Lane spent the summer renovating but are now dealing with a mess and lots of damaged goods. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph is live in Holly with more. Walter. Jane, there is a lot of damage here at Holly Lanes. Take a look at this. The thieves, they broke into the vending machine. They took the cash and the snacks too. Must have been hungry. They also made away with some TVs and some cash. And the best part of it all, it's all on security tape. What could have been the worst day of Brian Aubuchon's life turned into a comedy of errors. I mean, walking into this when you're trying to get back to the community is just devastating. After months of renovations, Brian says thieves crash in through the roof. We go to review the video and it just starts getting funnier and funnier and funnier. First, they go for the TVs. Oops, didn't see that chair. It's so funny. It almost takes the pain away from you're building something for the community and they're trying to destroy it. Vending machines smashed while the thieves go after the sweet stuff. They stole $700 worth of candy. These two clowns are the dumbest criminals on the face of this planet. Must be some thirsty clowns. They needed a pop break. Falling all over the place. They're bumbling all over the place. The suspects even stole chef aprons, wearing them while the security camera gets a better view of one suspect donning a hoodie and a lion's hat. Somebody knows these guys, and we want to get them. Back out here live now, as you just saw, the criminals left a trail behind. The police, they actually have tire tracks of the getaway car and some fingerprints. If you think you know mid-Michigan's dumbest criminals, please give state police a call.